Welcome to Designing for Azure Identity Management. My name is Thomas Mitchell. I'm an Azure content author at Cloud Academy, and I have over 25 years of deep IT experience, several of those with cloud technologies. Microsoft's Azure Active Directory is a cloud-based identity and access management service. With it, users can sign in and access external resources such as Office 365, the Azure portal, and other software-as-a-service applications. Azure AD, of course, also allows users to access internal resources as well. Such resources include applications inside the corporate network and on the intranet, along with cloud applications that have been developed and deployed by your organization. Azure AD is used to control access to applications and resources according to business requirements. For example, Azure AD can be configured to require multi-factor authentication, or MFA, when a user needs access to important company resources. In addition, Azure AD can be used to automate user provisioning between an existing on-prem Windows Server AD and corporate cloud applications like Office 365. With Azure AD, organizations have access to tools that can be used to automatically help protect user identities and credentials, which allows them to meet access governance requirements. Microsoft Online Services, like Office 365 and Microsoft Azure, leverage Azure AD for sign-in and for identity protection. As such, an organization that subscribes to any of the Microsoft Online Business Services automatically gets at least the free version of Azure AD along with those services. Adding paid services to a tenant can enhance an Azure AD implementation. Such paid services include Azure Active Directory Basic, Azure Active Directory Premium 1, and Azure Active Directory Premium 2. These Azure AD paid licenses ride on top of an existing free directory, and they can provide additional services such as self-service, security reporting, enhanced monitoring, and secure access for mobile users. One thing to note, however, is that while all of these added features can add cool functionality and security, Azure Active Directory Basic, Azure Active Directory Premium 1, and Azure Active Directory Premium 2 are not currently supported in China. The free version of Azure Active Directory offers basic user and group management functionality and on-prem directory synchronization. It also offers basic reporting and single sign-on, or SSO, across Office 365, Microsoft Azure, and many popular SaaS applications. In addition to the free features available in the Azure AD free version, Azure AD Basic provides cloud-centric application access as well as group-based access management. Other features included with the Basic version include self-service password reset for cloud apps and Azure AD application proxy, which is a feature that allows you to publish on-prem web applications using Azure AD. Azure Active Directory Premium P1 offers quite a bit more than either free or basic. In addition to what those versions offer, Azure AD Premium P1 offers hybrid users access to both on-prem and cloud resources. Premium P1 also supports advanced administration tasks like self-service group management, dynamic groups, and it even integrates with Microsoft Identity Manager, or MIM. Microsoft Identity Manager is an advanced on-prem identity and access management solution. Azure AD Premium P1 also offers cloud write-back capabilities, which are used to allow self-service password reset for your on-prem users. Azure Active Directory Premium P2 builds upon what is offered in the P1 edition by offering everything included in the free, basic, and P1 versions, plus Azure Active Directory Identity Protection, which helps provide risk-based conditional access to applications and critical company data. Azure AD Premium P2 also offers privileged identity management, 
or PIM, which is useful for discovering, restricting, and monitoring administrators, as well as their access to corporate resources. Privileged Identity Management also provides just-in-time access when it's needed, meaning access to resources can be limited to only those times when it's required, and then be taken away automatically when the access is no longer needed. Other pay-as-you-go feature licenses, such as Azure AD, Business to Consumer, are also available to assist with identity management. Azure AD B2C, as it's called, helps provide identity and access management solutions for customer-facing applications. As the move to the cloud gathers steam, corporations are finding themselves supporting a mixture of on-prem and cloud applications. Users obviously are finding themselves requiring access to those applications as well. This, of course, becomes a challenge to implement. Achieving hybrid identity requires the development of one of three authentication methods. The authentication method that is deployed is dependent on the specific scenario being addressed. The three authentication methods include password hash synchronization, pass-through authentication, and federation. Password hash synchronization is also referred to as PHS, while pass-through authentication is referred to as PTA. Federation is referred to as, well, federation. Password hash synchronization is a sign-in method used as part of a hybrid identity solution. This is accomplished with Azure AD Connect by synchronizing a hash of the hash of a user's on-prem AD password to a cloud-based Azure AD instance. This feature is useful for signing into Azure AD services like Office 365 with the same password as an on-prem AD account, which reduces end-user impact. The password hash synchronization strategy reduces to just one the number of passwords that an organization's users need to maintain. As such, password hash synchronization can improve user productivity and reduce help desk costs. Password hash synchronization, which is the most common hybrid identity solution, requires an organization to install Azure AD Connect. Once Azure AD Connect is installed, directory synchronization between the on-prem Active Directory instance and the Azure Active Directory instance is configured. As part of the synchronization configuration, password hash synchronization is enabled. Azure AD Pass-Through Authentication, or PTA, much like password hash synchronization, allows users to sign in to both on-prem and cloud-based apps with the same password. And much like password hash synchronization, this option offers a better end-user experience. However, pass-through authentication validates user passwords directly against the on-prem Active Directory instead of using a synced password hash. A key benefit of pass-through authentication over password hash synchronization is that it affords organizations the ability to enforce their on-prem AD security and password policies, since pass-through authentication is actually leveraging the on-prem credentials. By combining pass-through authentication with seamless single sign-on, Organizations can allow users to access applications on corporate machines inside the network without the need to type in their passwords again. Azure AD Pass-Through Authentication provides an improved end-user experience because it offers end-users the ability to complete self-service password management tasks in the cloud. Deployment and administration are easy because pass-through authentication only requires a lightweight agent to be installed on-prem. Since the agent automatically receives updates, there is no management overhead. Pass-through authentication offers improved security over password hash synchronization because on-prem passwords are never stored in the cloud. Because it works with Azure AD conditional access policies, including MFA, pass-through authentication offers additional account protection. Another benefit of pass-through authentication is the fact that the agent only makes outbound connections from the network, 
removing all requirements for a DMZ as part of a solution. Communication between the on-prem agent and Azure AD is secured via cert-based authentication, which adds another layer of security. Further, the certificates that are used are automatically renewed every few months by Azure AD, removing the requirement to manually maintain them. In addition to high security, Azure AD pass-through authentication offers high availability by allowing the installation of additional agents on multiple on-prem servers. Federation is a bit different from the other two solutions. It is a collection of domains with an established trust, which typically includes authentication and almost always includes authorization. In a common configuration, a federation might include multiple organizations that have established trust for shared access to a specific set of resources. Federating an on-prem environment with Azure AD allows an organization to use the federation for authentication and authorization. Federation ensures that all user authentication happens on-prem and that it provides administrators with the ability to implement more rigorous levels of access control. Federation with ADFS and Ping Federate is available. To protect against a failure of the ADFS infrastructure when using Federation with ADFS, organizations can set up password hash synchronization, or PHS, as a backup. Doing so allows authentication to continue despite an ADFS infrastructure failure. All three of these authentication methods, including PHS, PTA, and Federation, provide single sign-on capabilities, which automatically signs users in when they are on their corporate devices inside the corporate network. Unless an organization deploys a single sign-on solution, its users will be required to remember multiple usernames and passwords, one for each different application in use. Additionally, the IT department needs to maintain all of these different accounts and passwords manually. Single sign-on allows users to sign in once with one account in order to access domain-joined devices, corporate resources, SaaS applications, and even web apps. After signing in, users can then launch apps right from the O365 portal or via the My Apps Access panel. With single sign-on, IT administrators can centralize user account management, allowing them to automatically add or remove user access to applications based on group membership. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the various single sign-on options that are available when designing an identity management solution that incorporates single sign-on. Choosing a single sign-on solution for an application will largely depend on how the application is configured for authentication. Of all the single sign-on methods we are about to discuss, disabled is the only one that does not automatically sign users into applications without requiring a second sign-on to occur. When deciding on a single sign-on solution, it's important to know that cloud apps can use SAML, password-based, linked, and disabled methods for single sign-on. Of the bunch, SAML is the most secure method. On-prem apps, when configured for application proxy, can use password-based, integrated Windows authentication, or IWA, header-based, linked, or the disabled method for single sign-on. Two-step verification provides a layered approach to security. Even the most enterprising attacker would have problems compromising multiple authentication factors because even if the attacker obtains a user's password, the password would be useless without also being in possession of the additional authentication method a mobile phone, for example. Multi-factor authentication works by requiring two or more authentication methods, which typically include something like a password that the user knows, something the user owns, which is typically a mobile phone, and something the user is, biometrics, for example. Azure MFA offers the ability to safeguard access to apps and data while maintaining a simple end-user experience. By providing additional security, 
via a second form of authentication, MFA provides much sought-after security for end-user authentication, and it does so via a range of easy-to-use authentication methods, including passwords, security questions, email address, application, OAuth hardware token, SMS, voice call, and app passwords. Multi-factor authentication comes as part of Azure AD Premium. A subset of MFA capabilities is also available as part of an Office 365 subscription and as a means to protect global administrator accounts. As part of Azure AD Premium, Azure MFA is offered in two flavors, including the Azure Multi-Factor Authentication Service, which is cloud-based, and the Azure MFA Server option, which is a good option for organizations who have deployed ADFS and that want to or need to manage MFA on-prem. Azure Active Directory Business-to-Business -business Collaboration, also known as Azure AD B2B, allows an organization to securely share company applications and company services with guest users from other organizations while retaining control over company data. With Azure AD B2B, an organization can work with external partners even if they don't use Azure AD. The invitation and redemption process of Azure AD B2B allows users in a partner organization to use their own credentials to access a company's resources. Because the partner organization uses its own identity management solution, external administrative overhead for the sharing organization is essentially non-existent. There is no requirement to manage external accounts or passwords, nor is there a need to synchronize accounts or manage account life cycles? Azure Active Directory Business to Consumer, also known as Azure AD B2C, is an identity management service that offers organizations the ability to customize and control how customers interact with corporate applications. It allows organizations to control how users sign up, sign in, and how they manage their profiles when using the applications. Azure AD Business to Consumer enables this functionality while also protecting customer identities. Applications registered with Azure AD B2C can be configured to handle many identity management tasks. For example, you can allow users to sign up to use a registered application, you can enable a signed up user to edit his profile, and you can even enable MFA in the application. Other identity management tasks that can be handled include allowing users to sign up and sign in with specific identity providers, such as Facebook, for example. If you're ready to learn about designing for Azure Identity Management, let's get started.